Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today we are going to put the OnePlus 8 Pro against the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra in a gaming comparison and the game of choice is going to be Call of Duty. First, let's talk about the design. The OnePlus 8 Pro on the top you have a rich design with a microphone hole. On the back you have a matte finished glass. On the bottom you have the speaker grill, USB type C and the SIM card tray. On the right you have the power switch and the mute switch which I am a really big fan of. It is a corner hole punch display which I prefer. Now coming to the Samsung, it is a center hole punch display. Again a glass and metal sandwich. On the top you have the microphone hole and the SIM card tray. On the bottom you have the speaker grill, USB type C port and the S Pen. So both the phones feature dual firing speakers, bottom firing and a front firing speaker. The only difference with the Note 20 Ultra is that it is a stainless steel frame compared to the aluminium on the OnePlus. Before we move into the video, to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get notified. Now let's talk about the displays. The Note 20 Ultra and the OnePlus 8 Pro both feature a Quad HD Plus display at 120Hz. The Note 20 Ultra cannot do Quad HD Plus and 120Hz together which is the downside but the display is really good. For this video, the Samsung is going to be at FHD Plus and 120Hz. The OnePlus 8 Pro can do Quad HD Plus and 120Hz together which is a really good thing and it is an amazing display. I find the OnePlus 8 Pro brighter than the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Now that might be just me but both the phones are at the same brightness with auto brightness turned off and the OnePlus 8 Pro is brighter. Do let me know in the comment section below what you think about this. Let's talk about the specs now. So the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra features the Exynos 990 and 12 GB of RAM while the OnePlus 8 Pro features the Snapdragon 865 and uh, mine is the 8 GB version. So both are really capable devices but I think the Note 20 Ultra does turn on the game faster than the OnePlus. So that's a clear win there. Now let's look at some gameplay and how the phone is with the game. So I'm going to make sure that both the devices are on the same exact setting and then we'll just move on to do a multiplayer match. So now there is a weird part to this. The Note 20 Ultra does not do very high graphic quality if you increase the frame rate. So I am keeping the OnePlus 8 Pro at very high graphics while the Note 20 Ultra is at high and once I get into the game I will change the graphic quality again but this is just a test as you can see the OnePlus 8 Pro is definitely much more brighter than the Note 20 Ultra though the colors are pretty okay and I still find the OnePlus 8 Pro a little more punchy compared to the Note 20 Ultra this might be because of the Gorilla Glass Victus. I even spoke about this in my review. And this is another device and I am still facing the same thing. So do let me know in the comment section what you think about this. So this is pretty interesting as the OnePlus 8 Pro is almost half the cost of the Note 20 Ultra. At least in India which is a really big thing. So now we are going to just test these out in this multiplayer match. So we will not be looking at the gameplay at all but the smoothness and how the processor is reacting, uh, what are the graphics quality and how well these phones perform. So as I had said earlier I am going to keep both the devices on the same setting. So the Note 20 Ultra is on a high graphic and a maximum frame rate. The OnePlus 8 Pro is now matched at high graphics and maximum frame rate. Both the displays have 
full brightness turned on. Now comparing both these devices, the Note 20 Ultra is significantly dull compared to the OnePlus 8 Pro and both are at the highest brightness possible. Apart from the displays, performance wise both the phones are really good, uh, very smooth in their gameplay. Uh, I have not faced any lagging issues or any sort of issues as such. So I could not do this test on PUBG, I would have loved to do that but since it is banned in India, Call of Duty it is. So both the phones feature their own gaming modes, Samsung has one too and uh, they both are pretty similar, you can block the touches, you can even text while gaming in a split screen way. Uh, you can record the game as well and that is something which is pretty interesting on the OnePlus. So basically you are not missing out on any extra feature if you pick either of these devices. Now next let's talk about the speakers and I will keep quiet so that you can hear them. So in my review video which I will link below and you should definitely go check it out. The Note 20 Ultra was a little base heavy but in this comparison the OnePlus 8 Pro does sound much louder than the Note 20 Ultra. Now let's talk about the battery life. Both the phones would give you easily around 4 to 5 hours of gameplay but the OnePlus 8 Pro does come with faster charging at 30 watt compared to the Samsung's 25 watt fast charging so if you want better battery life do go with the oneplus 8 pro overall both the phones are amazing and very capable devices that gets us to the end of the video do let me know which phone is your favorite i am definitely going to side with the oneplus 8 pro here and as usual thanks for watching do share the video